as we take our seat. Shortly, we are going to be rising up, commencing our intercessions this morning. And as we rise, we're going to be saying, Father, empower every member of this church with uncommon zeal towards the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda for this church. Praise the Lord. The psalmist says in Psalm 69 verse 9, he says, For the zeal of thy house has eaten me up. And the reproaches of them that reproach thee are falling upon me. Without understanding, let's rise up this morning, lift up our voice to heaven, and begin to pray. Father, empower every member of this church with uncommon zeal towards the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda for this church this season in the name of Jesus. Is God hearing the sound of your voice? Yes, he that asketh receiveth. Lift up your voice to heaven and begin to pray. With faith in your heart, lift up your voice. Pray with expectation. Father, empower every member of this church with uncommon zeal towards the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda for this church this season in the name of Jesus. Yes, the wonder double prophetic agenda is a reality. It's already achieved. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. Ask the Lord to empower every member of this church with uncommon zeal, uncommon drive, uncommon enthusiasm towards the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda. This church must double. All our churches worldwide must double. That is the agenda of God. That is the program of, the, of God for the hour. Therefore, lift up your voice and pray. Place a demand on your heavenly father. The one that will do it, the one that has done it, lift up your voice and pray. Father, empower every member of this church with uncommon zeal, uncommon drive towards the food delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda for this church this season in the name of Jesus. Is God hearing the sound of your voice? Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. For he that asketh receiveth. For he that seeketh findeth. For he that knocketh the door shall be opened unto him. Lift up your voice. Pray with faith in your heart. Pray with passion. 
pray with fervency, Lord, empower every member of this church with uncommon zeal, uncommon drive, uncommon enthusiasm towards the full delivery of the wonder, double prophetic agenda for this church, this season in the name of Jesus. We are already in the midst of our years. That is the program of God when every form of blessing from heaven shall begin to be made manifest in our midst in the name of Jesus. And part of it is a wonder double agenda that God has proposed for us to enjoy as a church this season in the name of Jesus. Is God hearing the sound of your voice? Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. We serve a prayer answering God. He said, call upon me. He said, I will answer you. Lift up your voice. Let's call upon him this morning. Father, empower every member of this church with uncommon zeal. Yes, uncommon enthusiasm. Drive spirit, soul, and body towards the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda. In the name of Jesus, for this church, this season, in the name of Jesus, we are in the multitude era of the church of Jesus Christ. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Father, we pray. We pray. Empower us. Empower us. Every church member, empower us. Empower us. We don't come on sea. We don't come on drive. Spirit, soul, and body. Throw us the full delivery of the one that double prophetic agenda, which is already a reality. Is somebody praying at all? Ensure that you're part of this history making program of God, agenda of God in this our dispensation. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, let it be. Empower every member of this church with uncommon zeal. That uncommon zeal that will drive us, that will drive us towards the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda. Father, we give you glory and praise. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou glorified, O Jehovah. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. That a man can be louder. It is done in Jesus' name. Let's be seated. Hallelujah. We are going again, uh, rising up, and we are going to be interceding, and we will be praying in this manner. We say, Father, let the month of June and July be unto every member of this church a season of divine visitations, resulting in breakthrough in all areas. Praise the Lord. Remember the word of the Lord in Agai, chapter 1 to 4, verse, particularly verse 3. He said, who among you saw the house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? It's not going to be much better. Much more. Now ye now be strong, O Zerubbabel, say the Lord. And be strong, O Joshua, son of Josedek, the high priest. And be strong, all you, his people. Because the Lord is will walk the walk. Let's rise on our feet and let's begin to declare. Let's begin to pray to God Almighty, making sure that your prayer is reaching unto heaven because your heart is connected to heaven. You are engaging with your heart in this prayer. Oh God, our Father, let the month of June and July, the ordained midst of the year that you have ordained for us, uh, for things to happen, for a change, for the supernatural experience. Our Lord and our God, let it be unto every winner of this church a season of divine visitation. A season of divine visitation resulting in breakthrough in all areas. Our Father and our God, you have already sworn in the midst of the year, your people will see your hand Father, because you are the one who stood and you measured the earth, you looked at it and you shook it. Therefore, Lord Jesus, release strength unto every one member of this church in the name of Jesus. Release strength unto every one member in the name of Jesus. You spoke unto Zerubbabel. You said, be strong unto Joshua. Be strong and to all of his people, be strong. Father, we decree your strength to pursue everything that has to do with your plans and purpose for us in this season of the year. Our Lord and our God, let the month of June and July be such experience 
that we have never seen before. Let the visitation of the Lord God Most High distinguish your people in the name of Jesus. Let your divine visitation result in breakthroughs in all areas in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, strengthen your people. Mighty God, visit them in the name of Jesus. You visited Sarah and he delivered. He bore a son unto Abraham at all age. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that is contrary or exalt itself against the knowledge of God in the life of your people, our Lord and our God, let the visitation of the month of June and July turn such things around in the name of Jesus, resulting in breakthrough on every side, in their career, in their business, in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, do your strange work in the midst of your people again. This is the midst of the year. Lord Jesus Christ, when by the display of your power, Lord Jesus, you humble the proud. Lord, let the visitation of the months of July be such as we'll be talking about all the days of our life. In the precious name of Jesus, there are things that you have designed and you have apportioned unto your people, Father Almighty, by virtue of your visitation. A portion unto them, let every opposition of hell, by virtue of strength, you are granting on this mountain. Father, let the visitation lead to a breakthrough in every place, in the name of Jesus, in every area of their life, be it their health, Lord, release unto them as you are a portion. In the precious name of Jesus, there is no one that shall be called weak. Father, is a season of exploit when you are releasing us onto our global icons in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, let the month of July be such as we have never seen before. Father, we give you praise. We celebrate you, Father. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Put your hand together for Jesus and please take us. Heaven and earth, every force of hell against the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda of God for this church shall not prosper. Can I hear louder? Amen. amen. So we shall be rising up to pray and we shall be saying, Father, we decree by the blood of Jesus the dismantling of all forces that are out to oppose the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda in this church. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Please rise up on your feet right now, everyone. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Pray fervently. Pray from the depth of your heart. Stand in God. Remember that when you sow kingdom seed in prayer, you shall reap it. Prayer is a seed. Lift up your voice and begin to sow that seed right now. Pulling down every stronghold of the devil. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Take the weapon of the blood in your hand this early morning. And begin to pull down. Begin to destroy. Begin to dismantle every force of hell against the full delivery. Every force of the devil against the full delivery. Every force of hell against the full delivery of the wonder, double, prophetic agenda of God in this church this year, 2015. Make sure God is hearing your voice right now. Pray out your heart as you sow the seed of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, this early morning we stand in the gap for this church globally. Lord, we pull down. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name, the name at the mention of which every name must bow. Oh God, we take the weapon of the name and we take the weapon of the blood, the blood of Jesus. We dismantle every force of hell that are arrayed, that are opposing, that may be standing against the full delivery 
of the wonder double, wonder double prophetic agenda of God. And this church will pull them down by the blood of Jesus. They shall not prosper by the blood of Jesus. Wherever they may be coming from, the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. We dismantle you by the blood of the Lamb. Every force of hell that are arrayed to oppose the full delivery of the wonder double, wonder double prophetic agenda of God for this church, the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Every force of the wicked one, no matter where they might be coming from, today we stand in the gap. You shall not prosper. By the blood of Jesus, you shall not prosper. Make sure you are praying. Don't keep quiet. Lift up your voice and begin to pull down every stronghold by the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray fervently, pray passionately. Just a few more moments to go. Make sure that God hears your voice this early morning as you pray. I'm pulling down every force of the devil. Oh God, in obedience to your word, we take the weapon of the blood and we stand against every force of hell. We dismantle you. Every force of hell opposing the full delivery of the wonder double prophetic agenda of God in this church. We dismantle you by the blood of Jesus. We oppose you. You shall not prosper. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Every force of the wicked one will decree in the name of Jesus, your mission shall not prosper. The blood is against you. Your mission shall not prosper. We dismantle you. We decree that the blood is against you today. And we say your mission shall not be accomplished. And every agent of the wicked that may be connected with this, the blood of Jesus is against you. Lord, the wonder double prophetic agenda that you have for this church shall find complete fulfillment. We give you praise. Lift up your hands to the Lord, please. And lift up your voice. Give God thanks. Give him praise. Wave your hands to the Lord and magnify his name. Father, we thank you because it is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. Heaven and earth, on this second day of our midst of the year, seven days prayer and fasting season, it is testimony time. Hallelujah. Please be blessed as you listen to these testimonies. Number one, promotion after vengeance. When I got to the office on Monday, which was during the 21-day prayer and fasting of 2012, my superior approached me and was ranting. I couldn't place why and what the reason was, so I kept quiet. Five minutes after he left, I opened my office door and saw two red-haired lizards alongside marching out of my office. I was amazed because it was naturally impossible for such species to walk side by side. A colleague in the office saw it and said he didn't know that I read lizards for my zoo. However, another person kicked the two lizards and they scattered on the wall. Barely 25 minutes after I returned to my office, the same superior came into my office and started shouting. Before I could reply him, he removed his suit, his shirt, his shoes, and pants. Then, people in the office rushed at him, knowing fully well that it was pure insanity. An hour later, I was called into his office, and he laid flat with his face on the ground, begging me to forgive him for whatever he had done. I said to him, how can I forgive you if I don't know what you have done? I told him to confess, and after 30 minutes, he was taken to Arrow, which is a home for the mentally deranged. Thereafter, his wife came to my office and confessed that he kept a small pot under my seat. Then the Holy Spirit reminded me about the lizards that walked out of my office. Immediately, I told her that there was no remedy to her husband's case. Lo and behold, he was reported dead the next day. Furthermore, on Thursday morning, the same woman ran to our office saying that Everyone involved in my case was all dead. She also said she knew about it. Immediately she said all these things. She collapsed and was rushed out of the office complex. 
Indeed, the God of vengeance is terrible in his wrath. Consequently, my overall boss called me and said I was due for promotion. Now, I'm occupying the position of the man that wanted me dead. Indeed, God is all out for his elect. The testifier is John Isaac Innocent, Kenalan, Nigeria. Number two, SS turned to AA. My genotype was never an issue until when marriage was in view. I, it became a burden in my heart. During the 21 day prayer and fasting, I keyed into everything the bishop said. On the fourth day, the bishop declared that SS was turning to AA. I keyed into it. When I got home that day, I prayed, then brought out my expectation card and ticked the prayer point as answered. After the last breakthrough service, I was convinced to check my genotype. I stopped at a laboratory for the test, and when I received the result, God had changed my story. I am now AA. Praise the Lord. Testifier is sister gift. Who is responsible for these strange works? Please let's rise up in honor of this Jesus and appreciate him. Let's give him thanks and praise as we welcome our father as he comes to be a blessing to us again. Hallelujah. He's the glory and the lifter of my head. The glory and the lifter. I cried unto the Lord. your plan and purpose for anyone among us in this family. Lord, let this week mark the end of it. Yeah. Prove to every devil that you are indeed a God of vengeance. Yeah. Let everyone taken hostage be released. Yeah. Let every destiny head captive be released. Yeah. Take all the glory. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand and please you may be seated. We'd like to, again this morning, recognize the altar of prayer as the altar of dominion over sin. The altar of prayer is the altar of dominion over sin. Sin is not simply behavioral. Sin is a mystery with forces behind them. I wrote a little book on 
conquering controlling powers and you discover there are powers behind every ungodly behavior and lifestyle generally we call them unclean spirits and they give them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease unclean spirit means the spirit that works on cleanliness in all forms there is a lying spirit He said, how are you going to bring him down? He said, I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of his prophets. There is a spirit of wardom. Unclean spirit simply means the spirit of filthiness. Filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit. Like it's written in Second Corinthians chapter seven, that we be free from the spirit, from the filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse seven, he said, "The mystery of iniquity doth already work." And he who now let it, will let until he be taken out of the way. If you allow it to have room, it will gain mastery over you until you are out of the way. But thank God there's a greater mystery. And he calls it, great is the mystery of godliness. First Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Some of these forces will not move except by prayer and fasting. So every unwanted habit of anyone's life must give way this week yeah. by tagging them, targeting them frontally. Enough is enough. You foul spirit of uncleanness. Lose your grip of my life. The spirit of pride. Lose your grip of my life. Behind virtually every ungodly human behavior is an unclean spirit at work. And the mission is to disconnect individuals from the law. There is no sin God cannot forgive, but there is no sin he will forgive without asking for it. Without turning from it. There is no sin God cannot forgive Jesus forgave the thief on the right side at the dying moment. So he willed anyone. If he say we have not sinned when we have sinned, then we, we deceive ourselves and there is no truth in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Understand that sin will remain a barrier between us and answered prayers. From the altar of prayer and fasting, we can dismantle the masses of iniquity back of any ungodly behavior in our lives. None must survive this week. Yeah. Also, we recognize that the altar of prayer and fasting is the altar of vengeance. The altar of vengeance. Now, will say, judge that fear not God nor man. But there came a woman crying, avenge me of my adversary. This adversary has taken the house, my home from me, taken my property from me because he's stronger than I. But he wouldn't answer him. Well, because he kept coming. He said, look, if I don't answer this woman, she will keep coming. So she, he avenged her of her adversary. Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 8. He said, and shall not God avenge his only elect? that cry upon unto him night and day, he said, yet, he will avenge them speedily. There are forces that won't let you go. They must go this week. 
There are forces that have besieged your destiny and have held you bound, held you captive, taken you hostage. But this week is your week of liberty. And I mean, if you are set for it, today is your day of liberty. The, today is your day of deliverance. In Isaiah 63 and verse 4, he said, The day of vengeance is in my heart. And the year of my redeemed is come. That day is this week. Yeah. And that day for you is today. Yeah. He said, for the day of vengeance is in my heart. To release my redeemed who have been held captive. Today, he said, for the day of vengeance is in my heart. Until God executed vengeance against Pharaoh, against Egypt. Against the gods of Egypt, they could, not be, they could not be set free. It was not Pharaoh who held them. The gods of Egypt held them down. Against God's agenda. They were ordained to be there for 400 years. They were there for 430. He held them back for 30 years. The gods of Egypt held them back for 30 years. Everything holding your destiny down is broken today. That woman was crying to an earthly judge. And he was, she was avenged of her enemies. Today you are crying to the judge of all the earth. Every force organized by the devil to frustrate your life, frustrate your destiny, head you, hold you bound, keep you at the same spot, those forces are broken off your life. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. This is your season of liberty, your season of deliverance, your season of breakthrough. Everything holding you down must give way. And don't forget, we said yesterday the altar of prayer is the altar of supernatural church growth. You'll never have it without men and women in prayers. Shall the nation bring forth at once? Yes, it can. For as soon as Zion traveled, engaged in prayer and fasting, she brought forth her children. As the Lord liveth, this midst of the year is bringing forth supernatural church growth for us. As we stand in the place of prayer, people from the north, the south, the east, and the west of this city will be flocking into this church. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand to your feet. Amen. Say with me, from this altar of prayer and fasting, my dominion over the mystery of iniquity is established. On this altar of prayer and fasting, the day of vengeance in the camp of my adversaries has finally come. My liberty from the hostage of the wicked is established. On this altar of prayer and fasting, my prayer shall be heard in heaven and multitude shall be drafted into this church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and give him thanks. Thank you for grace to take full advantage of this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. I'll receive grace to stand in the place of prayer and engage effectively for maximum returns. In Jesus' precious name, please be seated. Heaven on us. It is time for personal supplication. And we just heard from the, char the, the exhortation from our father a little while ago that the altar of prayer is the altar of vengeance. Every enemy of your life and destiny today marks their end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Exodus 12, 12, he says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. 
I am the Lord. Somebody stand to your feet. Whatever has kept you chronically single, in spite of all your cries unto the Lord, whatever has kept you believing God for the fruit of the womb and it has not yet come, whatever has kept you perpetually under, whatever has not allowed you to raise your head, the horns of the Gentiles which have scattered everything that you try to do, whatever has hindered your advancement in life, lift up your voice, go before the Lord, vengeance must answer in the camp of the wicked today and clear out all the things that have stood against your life and destiny. Lift up your voice to heaven and cry out unto your father. Call on your father. Even the sin question, deal with it even during this time of personal supplication because the altar of prayer is the altar of dominion over sin. Lift up your voices and go before the throne of grace. Whatever has stood against your advancement, whatever has stood against your prosperity, whatever has stood against your lifting, whatever has stood against your breakthrough, whatever has stood against your turnaround, the power of the Most High God shall rot vengeance in the camp of the wicked. Today, and you're coming out of that age-long bondage in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Let the Lord hear your voice in this time of personal supplication. Don't be silent. Pray that prayer that must be answered. Pray that one-line prayer that must be answered. You're not praying to the future. You're not praying to storage. You're praying that prayer that must be answered and answered now. Go ahead. The Lord is waiting to hear your voice. The Lord is waiting to see your desperation and your fervency. In the name of Jesus.
Five minutes more to go. Lift up your voice and call on this God of vengeance. Whosoever has said it shall not be well with you, they go down for your sake. Every force of wickedness that has ganged up against your life and destiny, the power of the Almighty emanating from this prayer altar shall scatter them. Whoever said, let me see how you have your children. The God of vengeance will rain judgment in their camp. And you are coming forth with your miracle babies. Whoever said, let me see how you get married before their very eyes. God will show up and prove himself as the one who is able to overturn, overturn, overturn it until it shall be no more. Judgment in the camp of the wicked. Lift up your voice and cry out to the Lord. Those unclean spirits that have withstood your life and destiny, not allowing you to walk the Christian walk as you ought to walk it. The power of God is available to clear them out of your way. Go ahead and cry out to the Lord. Is someone praying? One more minute. Lift up your voice to heaven. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Therefore that witch must die. That strong man must be dislodged. Those defiling spirits must clear out of your way. No more to a spirit husband. No more to a spirit wife. Every evil that has been sent against you molesting your destiny. They go down for your sake today. Lift up your voice. Press that demand home. Something must change. Something must turn. Something must give. Like a turn about Shakata. Pray in understanding. Pray the language of the Holy Ghost. Cry out to the Father. Today is your day of liberty. But vengeance first. Judgment in the camp of the wicked first. Lift up your voice. Ensure the Lord is hearing you. Cry out. Enough is enough. Call on your father. Lift up your voices to heaven and begin to give God thanks. Everybody rise to your feet. Give God thanks and praise. 
Glorify the name of the Lord. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. The siege over your life is over. And so shall it be in Jesus name. Let's praise the Lord. Oh yes, he answers prayers. Oh yes, he answers prayers. The God I serve answers prayers. Only Jesus answers prayers. Oh yes, he answers. Oh yes, he answers prayers. The God I serve answers. Oh yes, he answers prayers. The God I serve he answers. Only Jesus. Oh yes, he answers prayers. Oh. My Jesus answers prayers. The God I serve. The God I serve. Only Jesus. Oh yes, he answers prayers. The Lord has answered your prayers. The God I serve. Only Jesus. Oh yes, he answers prayers. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. Oh yes, he answers prayers. Oh, 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 yes, he answers prayers. Oh yes, he answers prayer. Oh yes, he answers prayer. The God of God answers prayer. Holy Jesus. two hands to heaven. One more time, give God thanks for answers to your prayers. Magnify his name. We serve a prayer answering God, not a prayer storing God. Give him thanks and praise in Jesus' precious name. Elijah was a man like you and me. He prayed earnestly. 
heartily. That should not rain. It didn't rain for three and a half years. Whatever you ask to stop during this season stops forever. Yeah. He prayed again and the heavens gave rain. Whatever has been with her that you are crying to God to release, they are declared released. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please get seated for a moment. From scriptures we understand that God responds only to specifics. God responds only to specifics. Please define your desire in concrete terms. Today's day number two out of uh, seven. And um, how great your start will determine how great the outcome. Define your desires in concrete terms. Stay on them earnestly. Pray until the assurance that the prayer is answered. No guesswork. If you are making a call on the phone and the telephone gets through, you should know. So you must pray to the point that you are sure of the answer to your prayers. And every time God opens a seal in the meeting like this, uh, it must be pointing to some things that you need to press through into testimonies. Praise God. If God didn't execute vengeance, Israel would be there forever. They would be in that captivity forever. So it's time to cry out for vengeance. Vengeance against the enemies of your health. Vengeance against the enemies of your home. Vengeance against the enemies of your business and career. Vengeance against the enemies of your spiritual life. It's time to cry out for vengeance until you are assured that vengeance is already secured. Can I hear your amen? Okay. We must define our desires in concrete terms. Have mercy, have mercy. Wait a minute. I don't respond to generalized desire. What exactly do you want? That means that means you see my side. Okay. You are now talking. You are merely weeping before. Now you are talking. Receive your sight. God responds only to specifics. Let's get done and be specific. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Enough of this cause. Get me out of this cause. And God granted them that which he desired. That word simply means deliver me from this age-long cause. This generational cause that has pursued me all my life. And God granted them that which he desired. So it's time to get down to, the spe get down, get down to specifics in your desires. These five or six days remaining must not be allowed to pass without definite deliveries from heaven. It's all over to you. All the unclean spirits tormenting any individual here must give up this time. Must give up this time. Every prayer, kingdom advancement prayer you pray this week will be clearly answered. If you missed it in any way, ask God to forgive you. He's ever there to forgive. And then move on to the next level. You are changing level this time. Spiritually, you are changing level. Socially, you are changing level. In your business, your career, you are changing level. Your story must change. God has ordained this midst of the year for our change of story. Therefore, the story of each one here must change for the better. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Well, there is grace available to us today to wait on him, to be in his presence, to sat through scriptures, to make our prayers unto God. And everything you stand for today will return as testimonies. Amen. Don't forget the mystery of one line prayer. And every time you are praying, that's why we say you must be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Switch over to the Spirit. There are things you can't utter in your own language that the Holy Spirit will help you to communicate to God. So switch over. When we read prayer points in church, switch over to the Spirit. You have heard it. You have prayed it. Now you are now communicating on a private confidential line with the Father to deliver your answers. 
please engage in praying in the Holy Spirit extensively during this week. And watch the wonder answer that will be coming down your way. In Jesus' name. Stand to your feet. Lift up your two hands and receive grace. To make the most of the fast today. Receive grace to make the most of the fast today. I receive grace to make the most of the first ten of today. Taking advantage of it on specific issues of my life. Taking advantage of this fasting to advance the kingdom of God in my prayers. I receive of you today grace from heaven. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Say with me, today is my day. He said, for the day of vengeance is in my heart. And the year of my redeemed has come. Say with me, this is my year. This is my year of supernatural turnaround. I believe God. Vengeance must answer in the camp of my enemies today. I believe God. The mystery of iniquity has lost its grip on my life. I believe God that my, by my prayers today, many shall be drafted into this church supernaturally by the move of the Holy Spirit, by the operation of the angels of God. I thank you, Jesus. Amen. Go in peace. It's declared the day of testimonies. Your miracle job has finally landed. Your miracle marriage has taken shape. The siege on your life is broken. Yeah. Judgment is executed in the camp of your enemies. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Remember this evening we meet here again at 6 p.m. I mean 6 p.m. and in all of our zona centers. Lift up those hands. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. Give him praise. For answers to prayers this morning. For vengeance that has been wrought in the camp of the enemy. Give him thanks. Magnify the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your mighty name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please take your neighbor's hands, lift those hands up to heaven, and together let's share in God's goodness one to go. Surely... God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Heaven on earth and wonders without end. Whose new realm is that? Kindly give it to your neighbor as well and say congratulations. God bless you. Have a good day. See you by 6 p.m.